S S S S S O O L L J T B B N N N D. I'm famous. It's quite a good song, actually. Thanks, Barry. It's nice of you to say. But it says you took one hour and sixteen minutes to make it. Why? It isn't very long. Well, it's actually like really, really complicated. So I'm gonna make a video to explain it all. Oh no, flipping heck! Hi, my name's Michael Forrest, and this is Leaving the Laptop, a series about playing live electronic music. Uh, I think wires might be your favourite thing in the whole world. Get over it, Baz. I've done this big diagram to try and explain how it all works, so I'm going to just go through it step by step. All right, then. It's all heading towards here, Instagram. So we need to render out a video file and get that onto my phone. And this video is made from a video file and an audio file. What do all the different lines mean? Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's have a key. Okay, so the ones moving lots are real time and the slow ones are when you send the files or compile code. Exactly. And when you pile the codes, is there a theoretical limit to how high the pile can go? Um, it's not really... Oh, it doesn't matter. Go on, sure. Okay, so we're trying to record this audio and video file and we control things using some different things I've made, which are the little squares around here and here. Let's start with the audio. So here is my live rig, which I've explained in another video. Uh, you can go and watch that video by pressing on the thing up there. Thanks, Baz. They sure can. We take a multi-track recording via a mixer and the Fireface interface into Ableton. So this is where we're making the audio recording. And Ableton also sends back a MIDI clock, which makes everything easier to edit and mix later. Uh, the video is recorded into OBS from over here. There are two main video layers coming in. I made an iPhone app to do graphics, and I have a web app on my computer that does all the dances and stuff called Shoebox. It's me! There you are, yep, yeah, it's you. So Shoebox is written in JavaScript, and the app over here is written in Swift. But let's look at Shoebox first. So all we're doing is making a little dance loop in this editor. Can you make anyone dance in the editor? Sure, for now though, it's mainly me, you, frog and cow. Okay, so I make the dance and then run it as a layer in OBS. Right, and is that like a green screen? It was, but now it's got a proper transparent background. That's good, it looks better now. Cleaner. I made the different dance floors in Magicka Voxel. I like Magical Voxel. It has a wonderful aesthetic. Is Shoebox the thing that you were working on for ages last year? Yeah. It seemed very ambitious at the time. Yeah. It seemed like you were a bit strung out while you were trying to make it work. Yeah. You were quite difficult to talk to on some of those days. Yeah. Uh, the video you made was cool in the end, though. I just want to go and uh, And people can look at the video here, can't they, on the little card? Yeah. OK, so back to the diagram. This is my Eurovis hardware that you can plug into different control voltage signals from the live rig. So we've got CV inputs into this hardware, and this is an Arduino thing. And this connects to the app via Bluetooth. So for example, every time a note plays, the visuals can react. So here, every time I play a note, a little white circle appears and wanders about for a bit before disappearing again. This one makes me feel strangely melancholy. My preferred melons are watermelons. So the triggers go into the app, and the app then sends video wirelessly, so it makes the visuals, sends the video wirelessly over AirPlay, which then goes into AirServer on the computer, which sends video via Siphon into OBS, which we can then record. Uh, the phone also connects to the Shoebox server over a WebSocket via the local area network on Wi-Fi, so the Shoebox can react to control voltage events in real time via the JavaScript control layer. Does that make sense? Barry? Huh? Barry, are you listening? Sorry, I was playing Minecraft. Can you help me install RLCraft? I heard you can get millions of views out of nowhere. Can you come back and let me finish showing my diagram? <sighs> so I spent a few days this week getting this thing working again properly. Lots of unsoldering and resoldering, I seem to remember. Yeah, I kept realising I really don't understand things. But I got there in the end. 
So this is basically... A physical step sequence with a system of magnetically mounted cardboard discs, tempo synced by a control voltage signal that sends a gate output when the light hits a photoresistor mounted on a movable armature. I see you watched my popular YouTube video on the subject. It was cool. So you're saying it was a lie and it didn't really work? No, but, like, it worked enough to get the video recording, but then I moved it and it started acting weird for, like, months, and I had to rebuild it all from scratch to make it actually work. Nightmare. I added this little sensitivity knob yesterday. You said knob. <laughs> I'm trying to make a new little Instagram video every day. I was thinking we could do a new one now that shows the right letter when I play the letter song that you like. Oh, okay, cool. But uh, keep it brief, will you? I mean, I always try. So I need two signals to do this. The voice synth is on the plats and is controlled by the morph input. I'll put it on the light plane and take another output into the Arduino. <sighs> I'll connect this socket to an analog pin instead of the trigger pin and I'll change the Arduino code to continuously send the value of this analog input over Bluetooth. Now I'll create a new scene in Xcode that translates the range back from the control voltage levels to A to Z, and each time it gets a trigger signal, it will change the current letter. We'll make a new dance for you. I'm getting a bit bored of seeing me all the time, actually. Can you make it show someone else? OK, well, let's have Frog instead. Oh, he's Frog. Oh, you know, he's been in and out of rehab. I don't know if you've noticed, but he's not really answering his phone at the moment. Yeah, he really struggles to control his impulses. I heard he met a girl recently, though, so maybe she'll calm him down. Uh, yeah, maybe. I hope so. OK, we've got this dance now, so let's stick the fisheye lens on the phone mount camera and go for it. Yeah, can you show me how to play the song? Let's do it. I'm doing it! Okay, where's the graphics? Let's have a look. Where's this thing? Okay. 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 Yeah, I thought these voltages were going to be a bit more linear, but it's close enough! Yeah, I like it. Anyway, let's do it. Yay! I am thinking about turning this prototype into a commercially available Eurorack module and iOS app. There will be a crowdfunding campaign below if you'd like the sound of that. Otherwise, please let us know what you think of this explanation in the comments. I've also got a Patreon and a podcast and plenty of music releases on iTunes and all that. Uh, just search for Michael Forrest Music and you should find me. I'm doing these videos every month, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.